peace peace y'all here how everybody doing how everybody doing hope everybody doing spectacular in every way possible but yeah man i just want to uh i just want to uh drop through real quick man and just you know give a little spill real quick nothing too major but what i do want to say is that you know i'm liking what i'm seeing from kanye west man you know i'm liking what i'm seeing from kanye west you know, we are entering some really interesting times. You know, I must say this. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from Kanye West because, because he is going through on a bigger scale um, what a lot of us are going through on a smaller scale. Being that once you recognize that you have been manipulated mentally, um, walked in, to a certain mind, mind state and want to be locked into a certain mind state to really just hold you back. Um, and once you come out of that mind state, once you break that mind state, once you begin to wake up, once you begin to, you know, wipe the sleep out of your eyes, those around you are not going to like it because you know misery loves company and you know people want you to stay stuck where they are they want you they want you to do what's the norm you know you know people don't like change people don't like you being different from them and people don't like you thinking different from them and so you know <clears throat> a lot of us you know and a lot of our people you know, um, I just have to say, you know, has been given this state of mind. Um, given the state of mind that they hold dearly, um, that doesn't serve them well. You know, this this state of mind that they hold dearly, it doesn't ser it doesn't serve them well. And um, and what I seen from Kanye West and you know an interview. Um, from him is it that I, is that I see that he's coming out of a state of mind um, that has been given to us and like I said before the state of mind doesn't serve us well and he's coming to, he's coming out of that state of mind and once he comes out of that state of mind what happens is the slaves have something to say about it right the slaves have something to say about it because the slaves, the slaves always defends the slave master. You know what I mean? The slaves always defends the slave master. So, you know, it's not even the slave master per se um, that that have come out. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's the slaves that come out. And so I really ain't got much to say, man. I really just have to say is that it's really interesting to see him come out this way. Now, I will say this, um, you know, both sides, you know, he's obviously, um, he's obviously Republican. And me, myself personally, you know, I lean Republican, you know, I lean towards the Republican side. And then, you know, as I began to get educated a little bit more, you know, um, and see, with me, it's not no big deal. Like, uh, you know, I don't know what I don't know. And so sometimes, you know, you might hear me saying things. I, I believe I made a video a long time ago. I don't know if I posted or not. And this was way back, you know, at the beginning of elections. This was way back, uh, I, I believe, when Donald Trump was first running for office. And um, and I remember, I remember a lot of black people was unhappy about it. And I remember, you know, at this particular time, I had no knowledge in politics at all. But I knew that it was certain things that I stood for, and it was certain things that I didn't stand for. And um. And I remember seeing a list of things 
that Trump stood for. It was like, you know, a list. It was just like a, it was just like a list. Some list I found somewhere, you know, I was at work and I came across this list. And it was things that he was pro and there was things that he was against. And what I immediately seen on this sheet is that I agree with everything. I agree with everything. <clears throat> and the details of it, I won't get into it here because we understand the climate that we living in and things of that nature. So, you know, I agree with everything, but I, you know, I just kind of just, you know, I kind of just push it to the side. I said, well, this is interesting. But at that particular point, I knew who I was voting for. You understand? And so, you know, what I began to notice is that, what I began to notice that our people are functioning off of emotion and not intelligence. Being that they're more, con they're more concerned about liking a person or disliking a person instead of what this person actually plans to do. Um, you really don't have to like a person or dislike a person. Um, it's just all about getting a job done. You know, um, you know, if you need some work done on your house, I'm pretty sure you're going to get the best contractor that you can find. You're not going to worry about if you like them or not. You know, you're not going to worry about. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you like this person attitude, if you like how he speaks or just how he looks or what you think he represents. No, you're going to you want to just find the best person that does the best job and suits you and suits you well. You know, so I began to notice these things and then, you know, um, I began to get educated um, because a channel that I was watching at this particular time they had um they they was doing well he was doing these episodes um with some guys that was just basically uh that was kind of I guess you could run it about way uh pushing and promoting um uh education and politics and that's and that's when I began to start really seeing things different and I started to notice like, wow, <clears throat> I started to notice that um, for some reason, because we are black, we are supposed to be Democrat, you know. Um, wow, this is even deep. I was looking at my um, I was helping my uh, son with his homework the other day. And one of the definitions in the back of the glossary, in the glossary of the book, this is social studies. One of the definitions they had Democrat. And the definition was something, something government. And I, you know, and I told my son, I had to educate him at that particular point. And I said, you know, and the first thing I said was, why would they have Democrat in here and not have Republican? Why, why only Democrat? And then it immediately hit me when it went, immediately hit me that these people want us Democrats. They don't want us Republicans. Why don't they want us Republicans? And nobody is looking into this. You know, um, it was said that uh, it was said that if you don't vote Democrat, then you're not black. You know what I mean? And once I heard that, I took the social media and said, I'm not black. I said, I'm a comedic. I'm a comedic. I'm a comedic Israelite more. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, you know, obviously, you know, obviously I was being. Uh, what's the word I could say? You know, obviously I was being a little sarcastic, but yeah, you know what I mean? And, and then when you really look at this thing, it's like, why would you want to be black? You know, why, why would you want to be black when when you see what's attached to being black? And, and once you see um, the dark cloud and the spellbound frequency 
that's over black people and the connotation of being black and what it really means to be black. Um, it's crazy. And so, you know, you know, if you really open your, if you really open your eyes and if you really uh, get the information to begin to wake you up and you can start seeing things differently, it's all there. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's all there. It's, it's all there. And so, you know, um, I'm not going to go into no big, um, political spiel about the right and the left, but I will say is that for some reason they are lining us up to be Democrat and they, they want us to believe that this is what we need and, and things of that nature. And no matter what, we have to be Democrat. And it's a reason for that. And it's a, it's a reason for that. And they want to align us to keep us stuck in a certain frequency. And, and, and ultimately, you know, <clears throat> and now, now I'm not saying that, you know, a Democrat or whatever can't do anything purposeful or good. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that the overall, this overall thing, it has to be looked into. You know, it has to be looked into and people got to realize that through unity and coming together, you know, we can create things for ourselves. You know what I mean? And 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 won't need to be uh, spoon fed by anybody, things of that nature. And so all I wanted to say is that I'm liking what I'm hearing from Kanye West. It's real interesting. Um, I came out and supported him early on when he started to break out and it's, and it started to, you know, uh, say certain things and things of that nature. And, um, and what I didn't realize is that it's, it's army. See, they use, they use the, the, they use the, um, the rappers. Rappers are one of the biggest cars that these people play and these people are at war. And so when Kanye come out, they got other other artists attacked him. Now, I'm not saying I'm totally against these artists. I'm not against nobody. I'm just watching this thing and taking it for what it is. And so other artists came out and attacked him. But see, that was all for a reason, because these people are playing for different sides. You know what I mean? But you got to really study up and do your due diligence to really figure out what's best for you or what you feel is best for people or just bet best for the country in general. You know what I mean? Just best for the country in general, man. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this here. And, um, man, and so the best thing that you can do, man, is do your due diligence, really study up and don't move off of this frequency, this hood frequency. It's this hood frequency. Like, you know, and I'm before I shut down, I'm going to say this, you know, I see what Kanye is going through when you break out of this mind state. <clears throat> you really can't like you can't go to family. You can't get nobody like right now. Nobody can give me far as family like family can give me advice, but real, real advice, like advice when it comes to my children, you know, things of that nature. Nobody can give me advice because you are moving you are you are moving um you know under this this spell brown frequency that you know that I'm not moving under so you can't you can't give me advice you can't give me advice you don't you don't know enough to give me advice what you think you know you're moving off a of straight ignorance and you're moving off a of frequency that has been keeping us down for forever and so you know yeah, people going to think you crazy. Yeah, people is not going to understand, but maybe one day they will. You understand what I'm saying? So, I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to shut this down. I'm out.